supposed friend. This next case follows two suspects, identified as 25-year-old Jacob Kruger and 28-year-old Yahira Tirado, who on June 24th, 2019, left their two-year-old son wandering on a Florida highway. Police Yo! At the scene with a left the son on the Florida highway? Didn't... Why? Child was found in the care of a woman who had stopped her car on the road to protect the child from oncoming traffic. She also noted that a mail carrier had stepped in to help. I just pulled over. I found a man. My heart is about to jump out my They were walking in the road? Yes, it's baby. He actually... Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you want to come here or you good over there? Hey, yo, Bree, you going to win. Right, you going to win go. for us, Bree, okay? Can you, can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's not afraid of us, for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? No. Oh, okay. Give me one no. second. Come here, buddy. But he almost ran out in front of my truck. When I turned up here, he's running in front of their car. The police approached a nearby home suspecting that it was where the child had come from. The child was reported to be in dirty diapers and bug bites covered his arms. Is this where you live? You live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? Yeah. Hello! Awesome. See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna sit in that car, actually. Can you how did you get out? I pull my car over? The fact is, how do you don't notice that you missing the sun? Like, come on, you gotta know that you missing the sun. It's only it's supposed to be three, and it's only two of y'all. Nah. We're here, and we can we can sit Who in the car. Who fell the car? Like, absolutely is. Come here, here. hey little man. Oh, you poor little oh, diaper. Baby, that freaking me out. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm I had to. I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. He was just walking right here? Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just coming from New Samara for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It was freaking me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement about what exactly sure. what happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> the officer noted that he had encountered a similar incident before with the people living in the trailer. You know, I, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there, right. but I was out here for a similar incident, and it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger, I'm pretty, they were younger obviously at the time, but oh, that's why I'm kind of remembering him. You want to sit in the back of my car real quick? Ooh. In the, in the blue, with the blue lights on? Right. We'll put the blue lights on, all right? Please. Woo, look at you, man. I know, it's so cool. You want to sit in your, in your car? Okay, Go ahead, yeah, where it's nice and cold great. and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Woo, boom, push it. Where's your mom? Where's your dad? <gasps> all right? You joking? Or you dead ass acting a freaking toddler where your mom or your dad? You are full of bug bites. You don't know. know. He wouldn't be here with you. Yeah, that's that's my uh, traffic. He wouldn't bed. be here so with you. You know. Cars, you know. It's kind of like what we almost happened to you. Oh no, the car is rocking. It's a hot one out here, ain't it? Whew. The officer continued to watch over the child and tried to play with him as he waited for the witnesses to finish their statements. Ooh, look at that, push it. Is that one on too? Nope, push. Boom. <laughs> oh, get that mosquito. You don't need any more mosquito bites on you, buddy. Shut the door. You do high five? You do knuckles? Ooh, high five? Down low? We gotta try to find your mom and dad. Or somebody. <laughs> Say Where you got this. Where'd mom go? Eventually, the parents came out and were confronted by the police. The father reasoned that they were sleeping during the time of the incident. Do you recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. Yo, he you got out that? twice? Yeah. And your son today was in the street. Well, he got out twice. The first fooled me once, shame on it. Let's say, fooled me to once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Walking out on US-1, luckily some nice ladies Daddy. saw him. 
and stopped before he got smushed by a friggin' car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? His diaper is really soiled. I mean, you can look at it, obviously, but it's disgusting. Like, I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. Is this the same kid or a different one? No, it's the same kid. Okay. It's the same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. In 2018, the mother had been arrested for child neglect after leaving the same child alone in the trailer with his sister. Eventually, the police informed the parents that they were being arrested. However, the father, Jacob Kruger, reacted as though they had done nothing wrong. Step out of the car for me. Come on, step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this with both of you. What, is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested, so get your kid dressed. For, for what? Tell me. Why? Come on. What do you mean, why? why? I'm seat in the back of my car. I've had enough Please. of you guys. You realize he got, he got all that diaper. All that diaper that he, he, he changed it. All in your back seat. Use your word valuable. Say anything disrespectful in your car would be smelling like forever, boy. I'm gonna smell, I will smell this loaded diaper everywhere in your car. I'm getting shisty. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean, uh, why? Like sit, sit in the back of the car. Your so baby I was on Interstate 95. Sir. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? Your baby was on why Interstate 95. Why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out in the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? around that's what you were doing I was putting clothes on this is not fair at all it's not fair. yeah it's not fair to your son that's what it's not fair to you have a seat somebody. It's just, they're letting him eat old McDonald's that's like 10 years old they can't get him clothes but he's walking around with his glass everywhere you know this is just ridiculous additionally upon his release Kruger stated that he and Tirado were on medications for certain conditions that put them to sleep during the incident he also blamed the broken door that allowed their son to get out. But when asked why the door hadn't been fixed, he simply said, there's no way. Doesn't matter if I tried doing something to it. As a consequence of their actions, Jacob Cruz. He is so stupid. He could have put the 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 um, the metal thing with the chain right there. Just a little bit. You could have locked, locked that tight. Ain't no way the kid could have get out there. You didn't even try. The first time that he ran away, I would have been like, all right, next time I'm fixing the door. And if fixing the door don't work, I'm going to get one of them key lock chain jumps. He, he wouldn't be able to open it up enough to leave out the house for him to go into Interstate 95. Because somebody is across that street that he wanted to meet. And Yahara Tirado were charged with child neglect. This unfortunate event happened on June 26th, 2019, when a 24-year-old mother, identified as Gretchen Markovitz, left her 14-month-old son in a hot car for about 20 minutes. What she was doing? She shopped in a liquor store. Bruh, it's always got to a liquor. Officer arriving at the scene and immediately circling the car to check for an unlocked door. Is she not claiming the car? I can hear him, but I can't see him anymore. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. That for me. Is this your car? Open it up right now. Oh my gosh! And the baby crying. He was so he was this close from he was this close from busting that glass. He was gonna bring out the tools and start busting, like no cap. As this soon close. as the mother and her friend came out of the store, the officer ordered them to open the car and placed Gretchen's friend under arrest. Come here. Turn and put your hands behind your back. The hell were you thinking?
Gretchen could be heard in the background saying that she was under the impression that the vehicle's AC was turned on when they left her son. You still At going the time to jail? Of the incident, and why? The temperature was reported to be eight. She brought two people so they can pick from the liquor. They wanna, they wanna say, nah, don't get the Hennessy, get the Casamigo, not the Casamigo, get the ticket. Like they, they, they really picky, so they ain't really wanna have a, a really a one decision. So they brought two of them. So both of them left. I know exactly what happened, right? But I don't know why they. Can you bring? Can you bring a baby in the liquor store? Can you bring an infant in the liquor store? I mean, he don't know. They don't know what the hell is going on in the store. It's a liquor store. And the baby is the baby, you know. Eight degrees with a heat index God, of damn. 91 degrees. Don't move. You step back up on the curb right now. 81 start medics. And I got one detained. Yeah, we'll catch the other one. Take her. No, no, no. You step over here. Is that your child? Then you come here. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. What if somebody come out and be like running? Come over here. Step back. Stand right here and don't move. As a consequence of her actions, Gretchen Markovitz was charged with child endangerment. The child First was degree. taken to the hospital as he showed signs of needing medical attention. He was then placed in the custody of the state's Department of Human Services. This next case involved an intense chase. Oh, he on that phone. On January 12th, <laughs> I like to spin on that moment. officers pulled over a vehicle after noticing it was being driven hey, in a nice spin. without its headlights on. The suspects, 30-year-old Gloris Hairston and 25-year-old Tremaine he looked like he liked that fast led life. the police on a high-speed chase down Interstate 85 in the rain, speeding at over 120 miles per hour. Yeah. Listen, you do that? That's the, that's, you do that, that's the worst oh. idea you ever oh. Ma'am? He 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 moved it back, bro. He moved it back. Written twenty miles per hour. Listen, you do that. Like they're talking to him. He the police didn't even go inside and grab him yet. He just talked to him like you shouldn't do this. You better not do this. He like nah. I'm already already playing this. Ma'am. He pulled her thing back and she pulled off. And now both y'all will, will split the time 10 years each. No, I'm not lactose tolerant. Oh, he going. Don't get too close, bro. The pin maneuver. Oh my gosh, yeah, you cook. You cook right there. You cook. You cook. Uh, yeah, I, I told you. The pin maneuver never fails. According to police reports, <coughs> deputies discovered that Gloris Hairston's license had been suspended six times and was also invalid on the day of the arrest. Her passenger, 25-year-old Tremaine Denson, was wanted on a probation violation for aggravated assault in Fulton County. Neither of them could provide the police with an ID, and Denson gave his name Dang. as Eric Tisdale. When the deputy asked Denson to step out, he put the vehicle in drive and ordered Hairston to speed off, which led to the intense chase. When the vehicle finally came to a halt, 
Denson immediately took off. He still didn't give up. Apprehended. Police said, "Oh my God, bro!" Arrest and bro, still ain't give up. He like, I'm literally not going back. Like, I'm literally not going back. I'm not going back. Y'all not? No, like, y'all have to. Y'all have to do when something. When the vehicle finally came to a halt, Denson immediately took off, but was quickly apprehended. Police said that he resisted arrest and had to be tasered multiple times. They also noted that a bag of marijuana was found in hey, Denson's look, pocket. Hey, look, look, what happened to a bad child? I ain't even here yet, but I bet the girl right now, she gonna be like, she, I bet she said, oh my gosh, he told me to do it, he made me do it, he made me do it. Two loaded firearms were discovered in the vehicle. He had a gun to my After head. the two adults were arrested, the five children, ages four, five, nine, 11, and 12, were reportedly uninjured. They was in the car? One of them being buckled in during the chase. You guys okay? Yeah. They was in the car? Yo! That's not a good image. I did not know they was in the car, bro. Yeah, he bugging. Your wife told him to do a high speed chase with the, with the kids in the back. Who's driving? Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna make sure, and then that she doesn't wanna take it, then we gotta, um, we'll get your grandma. Okay, we'll get your grandma to come pick y'all up. Or Tremaine? Tremont? What's his name? Tremaine? His, 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 your grandma. I ain't, yeah, Mike, I ain't, I ain't even know, man. No, Tremaine's mom. No, Hold on one second. Yeah, his mom. Yeah, your, whoever's grandma, but yeah. As a consequence of her actions, Loris Hairston was charged with felony charges of aggravated assault, hit and run, What's child her safety seat violations, cruelty to children, fleeing and attempting to elude, and drug possession. As for Tremaine Denson, he was charged with felony fleeing, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, four counts of reckless conduct, and giving false information. That man got some time to do some thinking about his life. God damn. This man ain't even supposed to have a blick. He got the kids. He got... Oh my gosh. Reckless. Oh my gosh. This next case involved another intense chase that endangered a three-year-old child. On March 2nd, a three -year -old. 23, a mother See? identified as 36-year-old Tempest Isom. She just got here three years ago. She shouldn't be experiencing no violence. Motor vehicle violations. I called the police station. She just got here. told me to bring him to 225. He hit my car. He been hitting it with four ways and everything. I just need my car. I'm, I'm signed into this car. Who is it? Who is he That's to? my ex-boyfriend. Oh, That's my ex -boyfriend. okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. On Lafayette? I don't know the name. Warren? Ex-boyfriend problems. We know how it go. <laughs> it get crazy. Drama happens, you know. Is that where it started? Um, no, it started on Spring Street. Look this way for me. Look this way. Yeah, you were on Lafayette. Because mm -hmm. your earring's still over there. My earring? Yeah. However, during the traffic stop, Tempest attempted a bold maneuver and fled Her the earring's still with over there? Old son in the car. <gasps> they putting pieces together like that? Hold on, let me see your... Hold on, go to the other side. Yeah, because your earring's still at the crime scene, ma'am. We still have your earring. Do you want to come pick it up? Dang, she got cooked. I would take off too. I'll be scared of shit. Imagine you just did some a crime scene and you get pulled over and she say, "Hey, do you want to come pick up your sh your Nike shoe? Cause I noticed that you're missing it." Dispatch. This is gonna be one. Stop! 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 Yeah, she done. Oh. We're passing Regal. There's a child in the back seat. She's running. She's running. According to reports, as the vehicle reached the 50 block of North Clinton, Tempest lost control of her Buick sedan and collided with several cars, got to, got which to. stopped the vehicle. This allowed the officers to catch up and apprehend the suspect. Have a gun, I'll shoot you! Why? Oh! But if you think about the chat, she did not name, she did not say she was the police officer though. She did not state like, I'm a police officer. You know what I'm saying? She did not state that right. 
out in the loud right there. You know what she did? She just said, I got a gun. I will shoot you. Or she said, get down. I, I will shoot you. Something. But she did not say nothing about, hey, I'm a police officer. Get down. Like, you got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let that be known. If not, the, the lawyer can use that. You feel me? I'm scared. One detained, dispatch. One detained. Send me a cross of 548. No, I'm saying, Mike. I feel like a lawyer now. Stay with the baby. Is she under arrest? Yes, yes. All right, we got the baby. Huh, don't let go She's of the baby. Hey, came up to her. Hey, I got the gun. Get down. Don't, baby. Huh? don't let go of the baby. Just put him in the car. Put him in the car. You got to kill me. Wait, my city out. Can you put my city back? Why are you running? Because I'm scared. Scared of what? Why are you running? I you, you say you got a gun, you will shoot me. Come on, we gonna figure this out. All right, but wait, who do you, you have? have? Get my baby? No, oh, you did. Like, oh, now you're worried about the baby. You worried about the baby now? Hey, there you go. Did you go over? Before I get in, can I just touch my breath? I really can't breathe. I got it. I'm scared. You can breathe. I watched video. No, I really did it. Can I please catch my breath? It's hot in that car. I really can't breathe. He wrote a window down. Get in. Okay. He wrote a window down, please. Yes. I can't what the f is going on? I'm about to tell you. Open the door. No. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. I'm about to tell you though. Well, you got um. This is. You can't find him. So whatever tricks you trying to pull right now, it ain't gonna work. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. All that taking off running. I swear to God. You're done. I was just scared. I was just scared, ma'am. What's your first and last name? Tempest Isom. I can't breathe back here. You just blew her, bro. She don't care about none of that. Because you were running. When the officer asked why she fled, Tempest reasoned she that got she a was warrant. scared. She got a warrant. She attempted to explain her situation, saying that the whole ordeal had something to do with financing a car with her ex-boyfriend. Why were you running for? Who well, me? Because I was scared. Of what? Yeah, you start want, putting the clues together. together. No, that's not. Just, try again. Listen, try I, again. Listen, I just brought the car. Where'd you I get was, the vehicle from? Listen, I was just trying to find the primary borough because Santander yeah, told two six two dispatch. You ever? Airport received. I'm listening. Four, four, four. Earlier today, I got a call from Santander. I'm gonna move the car. And they told me that yeah, in four. order. To See, I feel like, I don't, are you listening for her? I'm listening. Listen, if you want to play this game, we can play this I'm, game. I'm just but I'm yeah, because I know what she's doing. She she trying to think of the story, right? That's why she keeps saying, are you listening to me for real? Are you listening to me for real? Because she's trying to make it up. But, like, sorry. I'm going to tell you right now. Listen. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. Not with me. Ma'am. Not with me. Ma'am, I'm not that type of person. I'm just scared. So, if you're going to tell me a story. I'm going to tell you the whole thing. All right? And nothing but because thing. this was called in a few times. So if you're gonna sit there I and lie, it. I called it in. Okay, so let's try again, and then you could tell me what happened. I and know. if you're not gonna be truthful, just, then you could keep adding charges. I'm not adding nothing All right. On. So what happened? That's why I said it's no excuse for me running. I understand that's my fault. I'm not going to say blame that on nobody. Earlier today, Santander Bay called Sarik in the Nissan truck. Uh huh. He is my. What do you call it? Baby the daddy. primary. Oh, I'm the bad. co-signer. We broke up September. I haven't had access to this car, right? You got to get a report from the police station to show that he's not, you know, I said, baby daddy, I'm true. I called the 989 number earlier. Uh -huh. I spoke to a man first, uh -huh. and then I spoke to a lady, and then a man called me back, but the phone disconnected because it was a Wi-Fi call. And that officer was telling me to follow him to 225. When I called... I was asking for an officer to meet me on Stuyvesant because I was in pursuit of the car. Because I'm never able to find this person to do what I have to do with this loan. You know what I'm saying? So I thought if I could call you, I don't know. I don't know the law. I just know what they told me on the phone. So I felt if I call the police station, you know what I'm saying? You know what you could do? What? Save your story. Save your story. I wasn't being funny with you. Save your story. That's what you could do right now. Right now? You're under arrest, so you know what? All that behind me right now, like I said, is bull. Oh yeah, join the Discord, MD. First I'm off, scared. you took off on us, put us in I'm a pursuit. Scared. Okay, I'm you crashed right. with all this. With
with your child in the car. I'm not saying it was right. I'm telling you, I'm scared. The child was rescued from the car by the officers. And according to their assessment, I told you I'm there was scared. reason to believe that the child wasn't buckled in during the pursuit. Where was the baby in the vehicle? When we pulled up, he was climbing out of the front seat. Like, they went around to go get her. 